Hello and welcome to Two Guys and a Few Good Men. I am TJ Washuk. And I am Nicholas Cage. <laughs> or Garrett. And this is Movie Lowdown for the week of December 10th, 2018. So let's get right into the news. Uh, first up, we have news from the National Film Registry. They added 25 more films to their list of uh, movies that are classics or, um, you know, culturally important. I guess. Do they add any of my films in there is the question, TJ. Uh, that's a good question. I'd have to dig through it. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is actually, there's, a, there's quite a bit of films they added in this year. I think there's only a couple of them that we really big, big, you know, kind of knowns. Um, for our generation, because uh, there's a lot of 40s, 50s, 60s, and 30s, even. 30s, yeah. So come, some of the highlights, Jurassic Park, mm -hmm. Shining, something, uh, Good Negro Kiss is, is something that, like, I watched with my grandpa when I was younger, mm -hmm. and, like, it was, like, one of his favorite things to watch for some reason, and... I think this is your favorite movie of your grandpa, Brokeback Mountain, from 2005? Yeah, yeah, he, he really liked that <laughs> one, too. Um... <laughs> Is that in there? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, so let's go back through these. That broke back mount. We got Cinderella, Days of Wine and Roses, Dixon Wanamaker Expedition, to My Fair Lady, Crow, Eve's Bayou, uh, which was uh, a movie I never saw, The Girl Without a Soul. Never seen it, but it is on this list. From 1917. Yeah. I didn't even know they had movies back then. <laughs> they were called pictures. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, Hearts and Minds, a film uh, for nappy-headed people, is also on there. Wow. Um, so a lot of good stuff. Uh, one of the, the one of my favorites is uh, Jurassic Park on there because that that really did pave the way for a lot of Steven Spielberg's dinosaur movies yeah. to come. <laughs> all all three hundred of them. Oh, and it'll be out by the next five years, and then he. Uh, yeah, the next one is supposed to be coming out here soon. And it's said, briefly, I read an article that said that it's not going to be attacking the city, the dinosaurs. Coming 2021 or 2020. Oh, really? What? I want to yeah. imagine that's. that's I, I would long. imagine so too. Um, so next onward. up. Yep, next up, we've got a uh, director approached for Black Marvel, Black Widow. Black Marvel. <laughs> slams, uh, slams Marvel. So I, I, you, you did this funny, I watched you say it. Lucia, Lucia, Syria, Lucia, Martel, yeah, Lucia Martel, uh, is a female director, and she was interviewed by uh, the Pioneer. Not sure who they are, but an article. it's like a magazine. Magazine, I would assume yeah. so. Uh, but she was uh, asked about, you know, filming a Marvel movie, and she responded with, uh, "Companies are interested in female filmmakers, but they still think." action scenes are made for male directors. First thing I asked them was maybe if they could change the special effects because there's so many laser lights, I find them horrible. Also, the soundtrack for Marvel's f films are horrendous. Maybe we disagree on this, but it's really hard to watch a Marvel film. It's painful to the ears to watch Marvel films. So that's like a, uh, uh, Marvel go fuck yourself. So do you think this is this is because she didn't get it, or do you think because like there's some things that that she says that I I don't think Marvel's terrible, but I think that like one of my big things on them is their soundtracks. Yeah, you know, Mar um, Guardians of the Galaxy had a really nice soundtrack because the songs you know. It's just because of that though. Yeah, but their score music isn't is, that big. Is epic. Yeah, it's not that big though. Yeah, it's 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 no, it's it's more like. It's just an epic kind of sound each oh, time you listen to it. I see. Yeah. So you're you're like, it it sits on your ears and it just makes you anxious a lot of the times. I feel like, in mm -hmm. my opinion. But you know, so like I I, I liked how James Gunn kind of incorporated more real music into his instead of like cinematic music. Yeah. Um, but that would be my only complaint. So that's that's. But this is like a hey, let me shoot myself in the foot with a shotgun, not just a pistol. <laughs> So, but you know, people get pissed off when they don't make get their job or whatever, and they're gonna they're gonna trash them, and that's fine. Good luck, you know, with anyone that's working with Marvel or worked with them before. They're probably not gonna. No. Yeah. Or Disney. No. Oh yeah, <laughs> especially like when you're talking about being a strong 
um, female director and, and you shoot yourself in the foot like that to where like you, you may look strong, you may be super strong, but you know, you also have been known to say stuff that, that could damage the reputation of the company, so. Yeah. Black Widow, I don't know if it has a director yet. Yeah, it yeah, does. there is, I, I don't know who, who the, I can't remember her name, but they do have a director, because they have, the, they're, they're starting to really move fast with it. Okay, yeah. Yeah, they're swinging with a hammer now. So it comes out 2020, mm -hmm. sometime. Yeah, and, and I, I guarantee you it'll probably, be a winter movie or a mm. early um like because it's been really weird to because their their summer movies is obviously where they're gonna go bring their their home run that's where they like it yeah their and, sweet and, spot and like they know next year with spider-man hey let's put it in november why not or wherever it's later on the year yeah um they know to put it later on the year because it'll it'll hit that first quarter with captain marvel that middle quarter, even that that first quarter, will still push over to that second quarter with Captain Marvel and uh, and Homecoming. But it's just like th these companies, they're all together and intertwined. It's it's not it's not smart to bite that hand that feeds you. No. Um, but speaking of Spider-Man, they uh, kind of reveal the synopsis for the new one. Yes. Yeah. They um, they it wasn't a synopsis. Well, it's kind of a synopsis. It's mostly they had the Comic Con trailer in Brazil. They actually played it over there, and I don't know if they decided that they wanted to make us wait a little bit longer, or if they had to edit some stuff in it. Maybe it wasn't fully finished, and that's why they did it over there. Um, but they did get a lot of information. Which, um, if you're not looking to spoilers, I'm sorry. <laughs> but basically, they have Jake Gyllenhaal, who is supposedly supposed to be the bad guy in this as Mysterio, as he is in the comics. Yeah. They actually have him working with Spider-Man in this this take, and they're going against Hydro-Man and, um, like, a fire guy, and they're supposed yeah. to be elementals. And I kind of called it when we got that sneak peek, sneak peek behind the footage, because mm -hmm. why else would it be splashed by water? Right. Why would they have that stunt? Yeah. There's no way... Yeah, that there's not Hydro Man, and and he's and he's actually in one of the scenes in the trailer, I guess. Okay, because that like that, it actually shows that scene where um, he gets splashed. Okay, they're on they're on Venice, and he attacks Venice, and that's what happens. So. Oh, but they introduce uh, Nick Fury in this movie, not introduce him, but introduce him back in as um, Nick Fury. He's basically Spider Man's Tony Stark. Yeah, in this one. But it's, I guess it's more like he's becoming more of a S.H.I.E.L.D. agent. Oh, they're trying to groom to him. groom him then. Um, and that's same with Jake Gyllenhaal. Apparently, that's where... Um, he was supposed to be a S.H.I.E.L.D. agent? Or oh, I don't know if they, that's where they went. But oh. apparently, Nick Fury introduces Spider-Man to Mysterio. Okay. And, like, he's one of his, his agents. And I'm sure towards the end of the movie, he'll turn. Yeah, I'm guessing, honestly, people were saying that they think that the, um, the elementals are kind of like a weird... Thing, they might be like a um, a vision or like a um, hallucination or something like oh. that. Oh, like or not even that, but it's like they're just like magic. I don't know. It's with Mysterio. Oh, Mysterio might be controlling, controlling them. Controlling them, and that's okay. why you know he. That's why everything's going wrong, and he's there, and that's just so convenient that he's there, and it's going wrong, and so, so maybe he's trying to act as a hero but act is really a villain mm -hmm. okay because like I said they the Hydra man wasn't really said to be like like I don't know it, it's it, it's still so early because it's gonna be coming out next year and later on next year mm -hmm. um, that August does that say August no never mind I thought it was coming out in August but either way it, it, it looks really you know it, it sounds like it's really fun and, and it should be coming out oh. they said the 18th is when they're gonna be dropping here's the uh, elementals it says here um, they're a quartet of immortal beings unknown origin who drew up the magical powers of the four classic elements the ranks include Hydron which is Lord of Waters Magnum which is ma uh, master of the earth Hellfire wielder of flame Zephyr which is Mistress of Winds. Uh, originally, the enemies of the Living Pharaoh and Nakatu, the Living Mummy. Mummy. Yeah. The Elementals uh, would be portrayed by Zephyr and Force to flee Earth. Uh, they would later return and fight Captain Marvel back in the days when she still went as uh, well went by Miss Marvel. Hmm. Wonder if they'll tie that in with, um, you know, that's the whole thing about Infinity Wars. It's like. 
with the end of it, you know, there's so much in question that there's so much to come from um, Endgame. Oh, here it is. You were, we were right, yeah. It says down here, um, it's safe to bet the elementals are all part of Long Con Mysterio, who's planned to scheme the shield. Yeah. So other people are thinking the same thing too. Yeah, and, and it just it just doesn't make sense why he would team up. It makes sense why he'd team up with them. Mm-hmm. I, think, I think if that's what they're going with, I think that's an awesome way to do it. Yeah. It's an awesome misdirection. It's like perfect because people, that was the first thing they saw Mysterio and they had the leaked images and everything. And he was, you know, like this, like, you know, kind of kneeling down like with he was Spider-Man? defeated. Yeah, with Spider-Man there. You, For one, that kind of gave it away. But at the same time, you just feel like he's going to be an enemy. Why would they make him? Yeah, he's always been an enemy. Yeah. You know? Um, now, can we talk about this debacle known as Sonic the movie? Sonic the Hedgehog movie? <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, it's it, it gets weirder and weirder as it goes on. And I know that... That's kind of how we were saying it was for um, Detective Pikachu. Yeah. So I'm really hoping that that it um, it turns around. Um, because if that's if that's um, John Ralphio right there, that's what he's gonna look like, and he's gonna be talking like Sonic. I, I I'm not gonna be able to keep a straight face. Yeah, and um, it says that they had like a, a debate on what to do with his eyes, because. Sonic, he looks like he has one eye in the, the comics, or not the comics, well, I guess the comics. Oh, yeah, the, the long... But they made it two separate eyes. So now he looks, his eyes are, like, totally different. He's going to look like um, Robot, Robot Sonic from yeah. the cartoons, probably. I don't know. But, um, I don't know, he, it's going to be weird. They it's haven't like, even shown the face, that's how scared they no. are. Like, look at that, they could they could have easily dropped that, that whole... Thing they, the whole picture, mm-hmm. and the internet would be going nuts. They didn't, and it's because they know that it's probably. I'm just I'm waiting for Doctor Robotnik, my friend. Oh, I want to see what he looks like. It's just, Jim Carrey. Oh god, oh. like I, Jim. Jim, what are you doing with your life? Like, where, how high were you when you were like, oh, I love Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah. Let me let me do a movie about Sonic the Hedgehog. Be a villain. I like playing a villain. Yeah, it's like okay, well. You do you, but it's it's weird, and they're gonna go. This is gonna be like a furry thing. Oh honestly, God, you're I right. Honestly, we're gonna start seeing well, Sonic furries. The, even the, the the title says the fast and the furriest. Yeah. If you look on the top there. Yep. Mm, it's from the pro- producers of the Fast and the Furious. No, I know, but they had they're making fun of it, and they're putting oh. uh, Fast and the Furious, and it's just it's it's funny because it's like. That's probably what's gonna happen. Oh man, <laughs> it's gonna be a new generation of uh, furries that are like on furries on crack. Yep. Yeah, well, um, yeah, that's it. That's it for news this week. Yeah, it was a little bit of a droll week for news. Last week was a droll week for movies, and this week it's a droll week for news. Yeah, the the lowest um, lowest records for the box office was last weekend. Yeah, because there was nothing new, and you could sense it almost too with this weekend because it was like it was pretty dead. It was pretty dead for a day, but then again, it is a day. But at the same time, like a day show, yeah, yeah. Um, but let's move on to movie trailers. We got movie trailers. Okay, first up, I want to uh, congratulate Marvel on breaking a record. Their trailer, the Avengers Endgame, was viewed 289 million times in the first 24 hours. They were smart, too. They released it at 5 a.m. Yeah. That is fucking brilliant. Imagine the numbers. It would have been cut off. Like, I know that that's a 24-hour cycle, but I mean, like, that's smart to start it at 5 when it's just going to keep... Day. Oh, it's going to keep rolling, because then I get into work and I go, dude, did you see the Avengers trailer? And yeah. they're like, what? what? And then they go look at it and they tell their friends, so it's like, it's, it's word of mouth and that's smart. They always release it at, like, 9 o'clock on mm-hmm. Good Morning America. So... It, that's pretty cool that they did that at five o'clock. Yeah. And they held they held a record for the previous record of uh, views, which was two hundred thirty million views mm-hmm. um, for Avengers: Infinity War. Wow. Mm-hmm. Um, now the Lion King teaser that ranked up 224.6 million views. So Disney knows how to make them uh, trailer numbers. <laughs> also, just a rumor, and it, we'll, we'll, we can cut this out, and you can add it to that other part of our No, news. we'll keep it. Um, Sony, uh, Apple is thinking about buying Sony. There, there's rumors that Apple 
is going to buy Sony next year. I can um, see that because so, Sony's not doing too well. Yeah. So besides a few things, I just no. wanted that on record here that we talked about <laughs> it. So that way, like I can go back and be like, "Hey, remember that?" Ah. Dude. But yeah, I, I I was reading a lot of different. Um, there was uh, two stock exchange. Um, there were articles from the stock exchange. Yeah. That were saying that they're they're they would be interested. It would be a really good move for um, Apple, and that Sony would be you know dumb not Shit, to that'd say be perfect. Yeah, and so it would open up. A whole universe for you think about this the spider verse but yeah. in a whole whole universe for them to disney to use then because oh yeah of apple so uh, well apple's already like in cahoots anyways exactly with, with so disney it would just it would be absorbed it would be like <laughs> and it wouldn't be like marvel buying them it would just be like absorbing sony like hey sony come here come here and you're part of me now <laughs> spit out money Blech. But let's start with our trailers. Yes, so the first one, um, I'm pretty pumped for, actually. Triple Frontier, uh, which is going to be a Netflix original movie. Uh, It's about five former Special Force operatives reunite to plan a heist in a sparsely populated multi-border zone of South America. Uh, For the first time in their uh, prestigious careers, these unsung heroes are faced with uh, a dangerous mission uh, itself and, you know instead of uh, a country they're fighting it's they're fighting the events that they're going through I guess I guess they're probably not really ready for what they're gonna be going through in South America uh, but this is starring Charlie Hunnan Ben Affleck Pedro Pascal Oscar Isaac um, Garrett, Garrett Hedlund. Hedlund. big big cast here for uh, it's kind of like almost like a Fast and the Furious lineup with the actors. Yeah. It, you know what's, what really struck me about this trailer? Hmm. Is you can see how bad Ben Affleck is struggling. Like how he's, he looks puffy in this. Oh, yeah. Well, that's how big he was for oh, I know, but like Batman, Batman vs. Superman. Batman vs. Superman. But I mean, like you can just see oh, his, his face, face from just, alcohol. Yeah. You oh. can just see like there's yeah. some scenes where he looks like he's a little bit thinner. And then there's some scenes like you can just see it in like because you saw the photos of him in the back seat with when he went to rehab, and you yeah. just see how his face looked. It looks kind of like the same here. You know, his body looks big, and it looks buff and everything, mm-hmm. but you can work out and be an alcoholic. Oh, yeah. Um, so it just, like, the, the first time I watched this, I was like, well, f- for one, this had to be, like, right where he was kind of falling off oh, the yeah. wagon. And I wonder if the stress of this movie maybe put him, you know, in another country, and maybe put him through, I don't know. but Who knows? I'll, no one knows, but it's one of those things that it's like, this is probably going to be the last movie we see from him in a, for a while because yeah. him not working right now. So, but, you know, regardless of that, it looks great. Yeah. Next. All right, well, a little moment of silence for Brightburn there. Holy crap. Uh, if you haven't seen this trailer, this <laughs> is uh, this is by James Gunn, um, one of our, our favorite directors out there. Yeah, he just got fired from his other job, so he's like, you know what? Fuck the world. Make something. Uh, <laughs> let's burn it. I'm gonna let's burn this down. We're gonna make something beautiful and uh, scary. Fucking scary as shit. Um, this is uh, starring Elizabeth Banks, uh, Meredith Hagen, uh, Matt Jones, David uh, Denham, Denman from uh, the Office. From the Office is gonna be in it. So. Yeah, do you want to explain it? Cause so basically, this is like an alternate universe Superman movie, where um, Superman is a villain. Mm-hmm. Um, but, uh, it's you know the same story as Superman, except for some reason I'm not sure he's demented in the head. So he's... my theory on this. So, like this I, is gonna this is gonna cause theories. Yeah, this is so fucking James Gunn and bland. Um, not bland at all. I mean, it just it doesn't tell you anything about it. And he's not gonna release the the, the actual plot twist. I think that either this is a reverse on on superheroes, and there's a superhero out there that has to fight him. Hmm. Or a villain. Or a villain that has to do that. I don't know. The, the, that's that's the part that I don't know. But I think it's when the, the spaceship lands, it's super red, right? Yeah. And when she's holding him, you can the even cape? see the red. No, it's she's holding him. It looks like it's a red blanket. Yeah. But I think it's a black blanket. It's just the light that's for, coming from the spaceship. Because oh. they don't show any other shots of the no. spaceship. And when he's going and trying to get into the, 
the bottom, like the barn. To get into the spaceship? I think it's the spaceship. Yeah. And and I think that there's like either something in there. I, I don't know. Like, but it, I, I think it, there's there's something in the ship and I think the ship's kind of the driving force of the movie. I think so. Um, I don't know what the power is. Like, or if like, you know, I, I think that they did a really good job of ripping Superman off as much as they can. Mm-hmm. And, and like, I know that they're not doing that on purpose. I know that for a fact, but it's just like the way that they did all the visuals for it. It just it basically went through Superman's origins. But, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But because it almost, almost looks like a parody, mm-hmm. like a, a funny parody. But but it's like super oh, serious. Fucking orange. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but damn, this is definitely on a must-watch list. I think. I I really am so excited. This is it comes out in May, but yeah. I'm really excited for the next trailer for this. I know. I, like, there was nothing given to us in this, and I really like that they did that because that's how you tease a movie. Yeah, it makes me wonder if it's like the alternate version of um, Superman. Like, what's his name? Bizarro. Bizarro. Yeah, but Bizarro was always no, because he it wasn't he made though. Yeah. Wasn't he stupid too? Yeah. Superman, duh. Or, yeah, from the DC uh, animated show. Yeah. But um, I don't know. There's so many questions I have, and they're, they're I love how it answer. doesn't even have the trending like where it's supposed to be. Like normally they have like where it's trending at, and this doesn't even have like a trending bar on it. Hmm. And You're right. Normally it has like up or down or just like in the middle. And uh, I that's I would say this probably this trended a lot with the community that we kind of hang around. Oh yeah. So okay, um, onward. Okay, and last on our trailers we have King of Thieves, which is um, already been released in the UK. This movie is about a true crime. It's a true crime film about a crew of retired crooks who pull off a major heist in the London's Drury district. Starts basically at their last hurrah. Um, but this has a lot of older um, actors in this. Uh, it's Michael Caine, uh, Michael Gavin, Jim uh, Brabant, Ray Weinstone, and uh, Daredevils, Charlie Cox. Yep. So he's still he's still working. He's got big basil. Basil? That's his character, it's basil. Oh. Oh, it is, yeah. It's got basil. <laughs> uh, but this looks like a fun, like, quirky, like, grumpy old man. Type of movie? Yeah, it's got a good, uh, good true crime grit to it. I'll tell you that. It looks really good and probably going to be a little bit of a laugher, if, uh, if I say so. Yeah, a bit of a knee slap. <laughs> but yeah, it's already released and it doesn't have the best rating in the world. No. But, but we don't really follow Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, I mean, this comes out in January. Mm. Um, probably won't see it in theaters. I'll probably wait till it's out. Yeah, in streaming it'll service. be, and I guarantee you, actually. It'll for sure either be on Amazon or Netflix. I that that's one of the like they I've been n- kind of gauging the films that will go on Amazon <laughs> right away. Uh huh. And they a lot of those kind of like funny quirky movies that we wouldn't imagine, you know, would be good. Um, but yeah, this is being directed by James Marsh. He did The Theory of Everything. That's that's it for uh, trailers. trailers. For. Our movie review of the week, we watched Spider-Man Into the Universe? Or Sp- uh, Spider-Verse. Spider-Verse. Yeah. Into the Spider-Verse. Um, wow. Like, really, really visually stunning. Wow, for real. I uh, love the cell shading artwork they did. They, you know, just from the beginning, I mean, like, even for the credits, like, they did the, even the Marvel uh, flip yeah, channel was Yeah, that's cool animated. how they made that. It's not. It's already animated to begin with, but they did like expanded almost, upon yeah, it. Yeah, they doubled it. Like they filtered it to like a- add more character to it, and um, a lot of just really, really fun aspects to this movie. Like they did a lot of stuff that like the trailers didn't give anything away. I thought that the trailers were a not at bit all too um, and too much when I first watched the trailers, and then I realized like because wow. I didn't. I wasn't expecting that. I guess I was kind of expecting that story, mm-hmm. but not like how it unfolded. Yes, because I thought the the Peter Parker that we saw in like the the flashbacks and everything. Yeah, or not the flashback uh, in the in the trailer. I mm-hmm. thought that was going to be the the main universe Spider Man. Spider Man, mm-hmm. which um, spoiler. Yeah, that's what I thought too. They they kill him off like within the first couple minutes. Yeah, and I really like that because it, it 
his character was like the the hero. He's been doing it for um, twenty years or twenty six years. Twenty six years. Like that's 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 really cool that they had him like. Oh no, him. he's been <laughs> he was twenty six years old. Oh, okay, so like yeah. ten years. Yeah, something um, like that. But either way, like he, he's a younger version of Spider Man and mm-hmm. like or uh, like an adult version of Spider Man, but a young adult. Yeah, I like how they talked about Spider-Man 3 uh-huh. in this movie. <laughs> they brought that up. The first, um... Oh, and Spider-Man. the Spider-Man 2 they yeah. brought up. I think Spider-Man 1 even was based all of them. on... All of them. were all, all of them in this movie. Open. Yeah. Um, who, who do you think was the first Spider-Man? The, like, the first main one before Jake, uh, Johnson? Jake Johnson? He's the one that came from the other universe. That he was the adult. It's Chris Pine. Chris Pine? Oh. Okay. Yeah. Um, cause I think originally they wanted Tobey Maguire yes. to be the voice, but I don't know what happened with that. Yeah. That would have been hilarious if they did, cause all of yeah. those callbacks. Exactly. And, um, yeah, Jake Johnson did a really good job on it. Uh, he's, he's from, um, Jess. Oh yeah. Girl? Um, I watched it too. Uh, the new girl. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, plays Nick Miller. Yep. And, and he was awesome. Yeah. Great he, voice. And like they they matched it up right with his like his animations and everything. It just felt kind of. I thought he was perfect. Yeah. Because yeah. he seems his his type of character is like a, 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 a slacker. Like a slacker. Or, no, like yeah. he's just run down. Like, run down you know, person. Because yeah. they they go through the list. I thought that was really cool that they listed that stuff. Because he's like, oh yeah, I've been doing this for twenty years. That was that was him who did it for twenty years. Yeah. Because he's he, in his late thirties. Yeah. And he was like, I've been doing this for twenty years. He's like, I saved the villain, uh, save the city, save the city some more, and then save the city maybe a little too much. And then he's like, then uh, my relationship or school started going off, and then you know my relationship started going downhill. Then I broke my back and like that's where you start seeing him like you know he broke his back so mm-hmm. he's not gonna want to get out there and it once he, he even though he heals like faster it won't be the same it won't be the same and like so you see him like kind of run down then he's like you know oh i'm just hanging at my house eating pizza and it's like <laughs> yeah getting yeah. fat yeah so um but they they a lot of just everything like Nicolas Cage was just fucking genius he in was it. perfect oh he was just like the same character in kick-ass yeah the exactly. same voice and um, just like the 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 robot one was was pretty underwhelming. Cause yeah. It wasn't, but the girls' animation was just oh, girl, it's um, hilarious. Penny Parker. Penny Parker. Yeah. yeah. Um, Kamiko Glenn. Yeah, that was hilarious. She was in Orange New Black. I don't know if you ever watched that show. Yep. And um, she's one like one of the new prison mates. Yeah. 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 Um, so, oh, she's in the new Ducktales. Yes, show. she is. Yeah, I've I've heard her on that too. I still have yet to watch it. It's actually pretty good. Okay. It's like it's got its moments. It's it's nice. But John Mulaney, you yes. can definitely tell that's John Mulaney as the um, the Spider Ham. And I guess I never thought about it when I was watching the trailers because it uh, shake my hand like yeah. <laughs> I get that. So like I, it was. And I love how they had um oh hello, his his Broadway show with Nick Kroll. Oh yeah yeah, yeah. was in yep, that movie in the, in the <laughs> corner yeah. yeah. Yeah, there was a lot of fan, like you were saying. A lot of leaving. fanfare. Yeah, and... It was so good. One of my favorite parts, I think this was your favorite part too, what? was Kingpin. Oh yeah, Kingpin, which is voiced by Lev Schreiber, um, the guy that does... Um, Sabretooth. Sabretooth, thank you. Yes. Yeah, Sabretooth. <laughs> Sabretooth and Wolverine. And he's been in uh, Ray Donovan. Ray, Ray Donovan, Donovan, yeah. yeah. Um, and then he's also... He's been, Repo a, Man. he's been in a lot of like obscure, obscure stuff because he's um he's also from um I think he's from New Zealand. Yeah, he is from New Zealand. So um, I think he's done a lot more stuff in New Zealand than he has here in America. Um, but he played a great like the, he was so funny because he's just this giant. He's huge. Imagine imagine the they didn't even Kanye, show him in the trailer. No, <laughs> imagine the com- uh, the Kanye West video with Lil Pump where they're like you're such a fucking hoe where they're like wearing those big T-shirts. Yeah. And imagine it going up even more above their head and just showing their tiny little <laughs> head. That's what what he looked like. And like I was, was saying, just, reminds me of uh, Despicable Me. Yep. His character grew a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Just the head and and he has else. a Brooklyn accent, which I wasn't expecting either. Because oh, did he really? I, yeah. I didn't even pay attention to that. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> I, I just remember it. He was just so funny every time you looked at him. It was like it was kind of hard to to take him seriously. Oh, I know. Um, and Mahersa Ali 
was in this as well. As the uncle. Yeah, Uncle Aaron, which was the Prowler. Yeah. Spoiler. Um, I've never... Am I missing out on Marvel? Like, who's the Prowler? Like, he's like... He's kind of like the Punisher. Okay. But he's always a black guy. Oh. Well, makes sense. Yeah, but he's pretty... He, he, I think he was in the car, the animated series, like, at least once or twice. I, I remember... I, I almost thought he was Spawn. That's why I was like... Oh, yeah. Because he kind of looks like Spawn. His, yeah, with this outfit. one. And, like, I really like the sound effects, too, that they added to his character. Yeah. Um, With the... Like it would like it was like this dubstep sound that they would add each time. Uh huh. And like every time. Oh, like his near, theme, I yeah. guess, kind of. And it wasn't like I think it was just his gloves and like his his um, boots and everything. But he had like kind of like a theme song. That's what I'm. I, I, I'm still music. kind of yeah confused on. Um, but one thing that I will say I didn't like and and I think you'll agree on this was with our showing we went and saw it on the Cine Capri and it was almost like oversaturated. Yeah. Like, some scenes you couldn't tell if it was 3D or if they were trying to make it look 3D because of a comic book or if it was a mistake on, on the... To, to me, it felt like it was a mistake on the animators. Yeah, like, either that or or they put the wrong film. The wrong copy. Yeah, if, if we were supposed to be watching the... Um, but, I mean, I feel like we would be able to see if it was supposed to be the uh, 3D 3D one. version. I don't know. It was really weird, and it was kind of off-putting. I had a hard time like looking at it. What about this? I never thought about this. What if you put on 3D glasses? Oh my god, they'll probably come out and they probably move out more. Yeah, because it was red and green or red and blue. Yeah. So I wonder if they did that now. The for when the digital or is released, and you can watch it with a certain um, glasses or something like that, and it like pops out like it's an actual comic. Mm -hmm. That'd be cool if they, they if they do that. But as right now, like it just looks like they they didn't render it. Right. No, it really was annoying to watch. Yeah, because um, there was a scene where Peter Parker's. Um, Emma was standing behind and you saw her hair and her hair was gray so like it, it stood out way more on that scene and it looked like the hair was trying to like move down more even though it was like in a station mm -hmm. uh, a fixed position um, but I also liked the villains that were in this movie they had a uh, tombstone they had kingpin they had scorpion mm -hmm. and green goblin yeah and very obscure versions of them too yeah like oh and uh, Doc Ock and That's Doc, right. Well, no, uh, his his wife. That's his wife. Well, that normally Doc Doc is. Uh, but Doc I think Doc it's just like, I think it's just an alternative version. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But either way, like they had all those characters. It, the action scenes were just phenomenal. I, yeah. I thought that, like, even there was one scene that I I did notice is when Miles gets his hand stuck in um, the hair, Gwen's hair. Like, you can see that it kind of, like, the animating on it was, like, I don't know if it was really fastly done, but mm -hmm. it just, it, it kind of looked kind of crappy for a second. Mm -hmm. um, but the rest of it, like, the action was just packed. It was fun. Um, it made you sit and watch it. You know, I walked out twice. Um, I just had a phone call. Mm -hmm. And, but I ran back in. It was like I had Yeah, you were right. <laughs> so, um... But it was just, it was, it was, it was just a really great movie altogether. And, um, and then that soundtrack was yes. awesome. Definitely. If you're a fan of hip hop, you'll love the soundtrack for this. I um, was bumping the whole time. Yeah, for real. I think that this is going to be a great album to purchase or get on you know, iTunes or Spotify. I get all my stuff on vinyl. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, just an all-around wholesome movie. Um, they, One of the better animated films they've had released since, I guess, Wreck-It Ralph. Yeah, well... This year? Like, this year, but this I mean... This and like, Wreck-It Ralph are like neck and neck for my favorites in, of in, animated. In all honesty, though, like this put Disney up a little bit more, even though it's Sony. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, that's still their product, and they, they've, they're they sharing that with Marvel now, so... And I was kind of worried that it was going to be, you know, the PG rating would, yeah. like... like Make it more kitty, uh -huh. but it wasn't really that bad. No, you know, not at all. I, it wasn't like a G-rated movie at all, or PG rather. Yeah, because um, it had some adult themes. I felt like yeah, in, in a way. But but it wasn't like too adultish. Like, no, it was it was definitely still more kid uh, kid friendly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, but uh, I'd give it. Seven, uh, seven hot dogs out of seven. Seven hot dogs out of seven. Yeah, that's weird that the pig was eating a hot dog. At the end, yeah, I, I saw like, that. You're eating like, your your own body. Well, it's there was a, there was more to the sign than we saw because it went so fast. Mm -hmm. So I think there was something else on that uh, that that sign that said like maybe like 
Spider-Man turkey hot dog, or like maybe turkey hot dogs or something like that. <laughs> Instead of a pork, you know, like that, that did. I think that was like wh- what. <laughs> also, the end, the end credit scene. Yes. Probably one of the most stay worthy oh, end credit scenes shit. ever. Um, basically, we have the Spider-Man from 1967, the cartoon where he's pointing. Yeah. The meme from the internet. Well, it's it's the 2099 Spider-Man mm-hmm. goes back in time and he goes, well, let's go from the beginning. And, and goes to the first com- goes, the first TV show. Yep, and then ends up getting into a pointing match with the Spider-Man that's pointing at him. So. Um, and I was wondering in the credits why it said 1967 or whatever it is, 1963 Spider-Man. Mm-hmm. I'm like, didn't really show too much of that. Yeah. And then they're like, oh, okay, now. Or no, no, 2099. That's what am I saying? Like, 1963. No, that's the TV show. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a key, oh, the okay. TV show. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. True, true. I forgot about that. <laughs> so, um, but ah, it was yeah. just a, way, a good way to cap it off. I didn't think that it could get any better than that. Yeah, I guess the only downsides we were saying like were um, the weird 3D scenes and then uh, the fight scenes. Yeah, we need probably a little bit more. Definitely, I, I, I thought that if if they added a couple more fight scenes, I would have been like blasting popcorn into my mouth. I didn't eat popcorn the whole time. Yeah. I was like trying so hard to be good. <laughs> but like every time, like I looked over at you and there was an action scene, you were like, oh man. I, yeah. You were grabbing the popcorn Munching and down. I was like, dang it. Like this is, this is actually good, like move, a movie to grab popcorn with like mm-hmm. easily. But yeah, that's uh, Spider-Man. Into uh, the Spider-Verse. Awesome movie. Definitely go see it um, if you're a fan of comic books or anything like that. But um, And that's it for this week's movie Lowdown. Um, did you have a question? I did have a question this week. Yeah! Um, so we were at the movies, and on the rating system, it came up with bullying. Oh, yeah! For How that, do you feel about that? Because I think that that's like, hilarious. Like the bullying in it is the character building, like right. That's what how every story is. Exactly. I was kind of talking about this at work because someone was make made a fake rumor on Facebook saying that uh, Christmas Story. Uh-huh. Remember that movie? Yeah. Um, oh yeah. With the little boy. Yeah. And they are stopped showing it on TV because of bullying. But it was also uh, um, a rumor or yeah. a f- something fabricated, uh, fake news. Yeah. And we were expe- like saying, like, well, that's the whole character development. You have to have a problem uh, to overcome. Yeah. And to have that in a rating system, like bullying, I mean... Well, because think about it. You, you're making a movie where, like, well, Shazam's going to have to have that now. Yeah. Billy Batsky gets gets bullied by, like, his the other people there, the bullies there. Mm-hmm. So, like, I expect to see that on superhero movies now. If they're gonna, Every superhero movie should have like, bullying. If, yeah, because, like, that's... <laughs> That's like that's a character building moment arc, arc in a yeah. movie, and I think that that's kind of ridiculous that they're putting. I, I get it, like that they're trying to like promote not bullying, yeah. but that's just such a classic thing that's gone on in, in our lives for all you know. And I know that it's trying to be worked on now, and bullies may be different, maybe they're worse now. I don't know. I don't know. It seems like it's really pushed a lot now. Yeah, anti bullying. So this was just one of those things that's like. Why is this on here? Why are we having to deal with this? Yeah, I mean, I, honestly, bullying is a part of life. It, it is. Because I, I was bullied as a kid, and I'm fine. Mm-hmm. You know, you, yeah. just, you just learn Coping mechanisms. Yeah. And, and if you don't, like, and I understand people don't have the same mechanisms that everyone else has, but it's one of those things where it's just like... You can't be living in a bubble. Yeah. yeah. So... But what was the question? <laughs> that, that was the question. Oh. What do you think of... of um, them adding bullying to into the uh, motion picture yeah, rating system. Uh, you know, they they also added. Um, I think it was hard drugs and um, light drug use. Oh, like, light they have drug both use, now? But they have like hard drug use now that they added to it too. So like you know with um, White Boy Rick's coming out. Yeah, or the movie I watched with Timothy Chalamet and yes. Steve Carell, um, Beautiful Boy. Yep. And the drug use in there, yeah. it's probably going to be more hard. Yeah. Drug use. So, how do you feel about the rating system adding, adding these on there, adding bullying and and hard drugs when it's been something that's been in our our movies for? Yeah, you just said drug use yeah. in the past. Yeah. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for listening. I know watching. I am TJ Washuk. 
and I am King Yama. <laughs> we love you and good night. This has been a Two Guys production. Can you see?